Hey guys, welcome back. It's Broken Tank here. The new faction update has been online for almost two weeks, and I was thinking about how much we gain from a 100 Red Sun T6 dungeons faction up. Uh, I've waited a little bit because in the beginning the faction points were a little bit more. After they did another update, it was a lot and they reduced it. So you will see how much you will get. Uh, after the patch they had with reduced I'm gonna do 100 of those and I'm gonna have two sets with me one set is gonna be the escape set when I'm running around or while I'm waiting until the dungeon is closed behind me while, why uh, am I doing this? because there's a lot of gankers around there and they are not coming alone they usually come with two to three or four people there's a little trick you can do with your assassin jacket. As soon as they come in, you always have to wait until your bubble is gone. You have a 60 second cooldown on it. If you go out before that, there is usually one more person standing outside of there and that will attack you instantly and you cannot do anything with your abilities yet. So what you can do is if you have the little cooldown, you can just walk up to there, portal there and you can just pop in fist like this. A lot of people will just walk outside and you have a little bit of more time before you can walk out there. If this is not working, you can also just inspect them. If they have nothing else they can do, you just start running. You can outrun them pretty fast with this build and you also have some defenses. And as soon as you come long enough, you can reset and you can just A out. This also helps when the outside, you have the sterling cape and in case you're getting dismounted you can do the same thing. I would not recommend a, sh a black panther if you don't have the money for it. I just use it for some speed, uh, speed up to find new dungeons. It's gonna be the great axe together with the scholo cow, stalker jacket, Scholar Sentinels and the Lomo Escape. You can probably speed it up a little bit with maybe a Tatford Cape and maybe Royal Sentinels or anything like that. But since I've not used the uh, Great Axe that much, I wasn't so sure about how the mana problems will be. So I will do 100 dungeons now, and in the end of the video, I will show you guys some clips I made if I reach some golden chest and as well the total loot and the total fame we will get. I hope you guys enjoy and have a great time. One look, the heat is rising and I've been cold for so long. One touch and we're igniting, setting fire to it all. You know these flames ain't going down. This building is crumbling to the ground. Don't think that we can stop it now. Cause baby, our love is gonna burn down. You know these flames ain't going down. This building is crumbling to the ground. Don't think that we Yeah, so I was just coming out of a dungeon. This is what I'm talking about. Probably this poor guy went out of the dungeon before his bubble came up. Somebody was standing outside and really killed him. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is while you're doing this and the bandit assault is about to begin or it's already started, watch out for all those blobs. You're flagged up and those people will try to kill you. As well, when you're doing the dungeons, while you own the zone, I don't know how much longer we were on this zone though, but when you still own the zone, you get a 15% bonus of the fame, silver and loot that you will gain in those dungeons. 
to make sure if you find if you're grinding the T6, I'm just doing random T6 right now. Because if I'm gonna pop a map, it can pop three maps away. Since there's a lot of T6 zones, it's gonna be a lot of walking. But yeah, if you if you're gonna do this, try to find a zone that has uh, is your territory as well, and try to look out for other faction people, like here. And don't make the same mistake that poor guy made by going out of the dungeon while you don't have the bubble. It's better to try to run in. Like I told you with the soldier boots, run in, try to outrun them. Most of the time they don't have anything to chase you with. And just A out later in the dungeon when you can. So guys, I've been farming the 100 dungeons, and it wasn't really what I expected to be. Like the faction points, I after 100 dungeons, I got 76k faction points, and it was not really. I was expecting more, to be honest. Uh, I had 157 floors I had to clean up. The total ch green chest was 36. The blue chest 109, the purple chest 27, and I had two golden chests. In total, I had uh, 4,456,000 fame. The average floor took me about three minutes to clear, and the 100 uh, dungeons took me just under 10 hours, 10 hours to farm. The total loot we're looking at is around 13 mil. The loot. It's not that bad, it's a little bit of above 1 mil per hour. Uh, with the silver bags as well. So, it's not that bad with the silver. Uh, let's see what we can get for 76 game with faction points. Right here we have the faction shop. So let's see what we can buy. Let's say we're gonna use this. We can buy 34 of those. 34 times 6, six let's say. So it's another 2.2 mil in the faction points you earn. So in total you are looking for 15 mil profit and under 10 hours that makes it 1.5 mil per hour profit. But you have to as well think about I'm using a 7.3 set. Uh, I had a few times people were coming into my dungeons. But like I told you guys in the beginning, the tips, it helped me. I haven't died once yet. Uh, yeah, it's really safe if you use this setup. You also can use the Invis pots. Together with this setup, in case you need a little bit more uh, longer to stay away from the people before you can walk out for the bubble. But yeah, I really hope they're gonna do something about those faction points because doing 100 dungeons for this amount of faction points is not worth it. If you're gonna do bandit assault and you're gonna try to capture some zones in one hour, you can easily make it 20k plus. Uh, in the end, and you're not even talking about how much you make in between. Even when the, it's not banned at all, then you're gonna take zones that have like the full star rating. We did it one time, the Renault Sync, and we got like 20,000 points. 
just for capturing the whole zone and we got like 2.5k for each outpost that was in it so we got almost 30k out of it and that took us 15 minutes so i really think albion has to look into this with the faction points and turn it up a little bit more it's not really worth it to do it for the faction points uh, for the loot it is really nice uh, but not for the rest in total i also gained 12,000 reputation i started with just below zero so it's a good way to farm the wrap up as well uh, i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and like it and i hope you guys can help me to support me as well by subscribing and liking the video please make a comment down below with what you want me to do next or what you want me to see next in what kind of build or what you want me to do do some t7 ones or do some outpost running bandits do black zone or anything like that guys let me know have a nice day